Hi everyone, this is your activity for week 5, day 1. So about biodiversity and evolution. So the learning competency is relate species extension to the failure of population of organisms to adopt to abrupt changes in the environment. So at the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the importance of biodiversity. So what is biodiversity? So biodiversity or the biological diversity refers to the variety of life in an area. So meaning the all the different all different living things in a certain area is that is refers to biodiversity. In a certain area, there are a certain number of organisms or species living in a certain area. So that is called as population. So if we say again, if we say population, it pertains to the number of organisms of the same species living in a certain area. So meaning the same species, meaning it, uh, the number of one kind of organism, like for example, dogs. So the number of dogs living in a certain area, that is what we call as population. So it means, or like for example, there are 10 dogs living in that certain area. So it means ang 10 ana is that is what we called as population okay so next is communities so what is communities what is the difference between communities and population so if we see communities with many different species so it means this refers to the different species so it could be there are dogs, cats, and other species, other animals living in that certain area. So, uh, let us differentiate between high index or of low of diversity and low index of diversity. So, if we say high index of diversity will be able to withstand environmental changes better than communities with only few species that is what we call as low index of diversity so if we say high index of diversity meaning it has high meaning daghan okay so it has many or it has uh Daghan gapuyo in that certain area that is high index. So it means there are many plants, like for example in the forest, there are many trees. Okay, there are different different say uh, species. If we say low index of diversity, low meaning it has only few few meaning gamayra okay like for example in 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 a certain area nga gamay or low low index of diversity is kanang in our environment so natay mga tanom sa tong bahay like for example naputay mga ginagmay nga tanom plants okay then naputay mga different uh, any species like natay dog isa we also have one cut, so that is low index of diversity. Okay, so these organisms interact harmoniously in an ecosystem. Changes to part affect the other parts. When all the members of the species die, that species is gone forever. So these organisms living in a certain area they will interact okay so there is 
interaction between or among the different organisms. So, if the certain species fail to interact or meaning it dili uh, makasurvive, so that species will die. Okay, of course, it will gone forever. Kay kinsa may mubalik kung namatay na, right? Okay, so we have pictures here. So, as you observe, this is the marine, meaning the oceans and or the ilaum sa dagat. So, it has different species. So, we have fish. Okay. So, unsa pa yung mga species that is makita nato sa dagat. Aside from fish, na po yung mga starfish. Okay. So, there are also plants. Coral reefs. Okay. Then, this, uh, this example or the picture, it shows a very high marine species. Okay. So, why is it high? It's because it has many different species living in this uh, area or a certain area okay so for the activity you are going to answer four questions so number one what is mean by biodiversity so what is biodiversity number two what is population the number three, differentiate between high index of diversity and low index of diversity. Number four is why it is important for a community to have many different organisms living together. Nga no man, importante man, nga daghang organism nagpuyo ana nga certain area an nga lugar okay so i hope you can answer the four questions